Howdy folks. So what we're going to be doing is going through the assembly of the Mickey box. Uh, I'm going to start out by just going through a few things beforehand and then we'll get into the first, state, first step. Uh, we're going to do this video uh, through the steps in the assembly manual. So there's uh, a total of I think 14, yeah, 14 steps in this assembly manual. So uh, we'll do 14 separate videos. Now, uh, what you see here is everything, well, everything here is what comes with your Mickey Box kit. Um, there's a few things that uh, may or may not come with your kit, depending on kind of how things go. Uh, one thing that we're not planning on including is the plug, uh, because this varies a lot by region to region, and this is a very common plug. So uh, basically, just pick, if you don't have one of these, this the standard computer plug or kettle plug, as a lot of people call it. Um, we figure most people will have one of these sitting around. Uh, if you don't, it's pretty inexpensive to pick up. So instead of offering a half a kilo, we will do one full kilo of material instead of doing a plug, which is actually a better deal for you guys. Okay, so be sure to pick up a plug. Uh, USB cables, as far as I know, we will be including a USB cable, but at the same time, uh, we're probably going to include a relatively short one. Uh, if you want a longer one, it is just a standard micro SD. As far as tools, we will be including two Allen wrenches. They're the right size that are the only tools that you technically need to do the assembly. However, uh, we recommend picking up a pair of needle nose pliers of some sort, and then also some basically wire clippers or plastic cutters. Uh, both of them come in handy during the build, but not completely required. Uh, another simple thing that would be good to have for the build. Uh, just some sort of small cup. Uh, so these M4 10 millimeter screws are used pretty much everywhere and it will make your life a lot easier if you put them out in a small cup instead of having it in a small bag. And you may also want to do the same thing for the other screws. It just makes it easier to find, uh, find them if they're not just in the bag. Okay, so I'm going to set the filament aside for now. Don't need that for the build. Uh, let's see, is there any other preparation work? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, for the final part of the build, you may want either wire ties, zip ties, something like that. Uh, we'll probably include a few extra of these, but these are one-time use type of uh, bits, so you may prefer some other type of uh, fastener that, you know, for cleaning up your build. Okay, so let's move on to step one. Okay, so assembly manual, if you unfold it, you should find step one right there. And then if you pick up your component manual, first page should be step one. So step one in the, uh, in the instruction manual, basically find the motor that has the shortest shaft on it, that's the Z motor. And then, oh, uh, one, one note, uh, the final production parts will not be these colors. They should be kind of a, a light gray, uh, just in case you're looking at this and trying to sort things out by color. So let's grab that there. So you're going to need the z-axis block, which is this, it's got a little like, shape thing, it's about a big, and then you're going to need the uh, z-axis motor mount. And then you're also going to want 
for of the countersink screws. So they're the ones with the little taper heads. Uh, you may or may not be able to see them here, but they're pretty clear in the assembly manual or the parts manual. I think the pack out will probably be a little bit different. We may actually wind up packing the hardware up based on when you need it. So putting it together by stage instead of putting together all at once. Okay, so let's. Uh, so basically, first step. You'll want to loosely attach the motor. Now, uh, one important point, you see these little tabs coming out of the motor mount. The wires come out to that side of it. So be sure to, to do it in that orientation, otherwise you're going to have problems later. Now, probably the best idea would be to get these started. So I'm leaving, leaving it a little bit loose right now. Uh, oh, and we also need basically they're the shortest to. So if you take all your your bearing rods, just find the sh two shortest rods. Those are your Z axis rods. So fit those into there. These two screws go into the side that does not have the stuff sticking out. So this side. Now, all these do are really just help hold everything together. So they're not really, uh, like you're not going to see that big of a change, but they just keep everything from coming apart rather than like really doing anything to it put it together in the first place. Uh, gently tighten these down. I wouldn't snug them down too hard. And then you'll see that there's one part that has a little tab sticking out. That tab goes nearest the tabs sticking out from the motor mount. Carefully thread this on. It may take a little bit to get it started. And then once you get the two bearing rods started, bring in the block by using the screw. Now, like I said, you might want to 
loose. The motor not too tight. And then at this point, go back in and tighten the screws down. And my preference would actually be doing crosswise to start with. And you don't have to go crazy to tighten these down. You can just snug is pretty good. And then you're gonna want to back it back down. But actually for reference, you might want to go ahead and put your side panels on. Now, uh, the side panels, basically if you look, there's two tabs on the top of each side panel. They're slightly different dimensions. The, there's tabs here and tabs on one side and then a single tab on the bottom. Uh, the tabs here face the same side as the small tabs on the motor mount. There's only one way to put them in after you get that orientation. So if you try putting this one on this other side, it won't fit. Same thing with this one. So these tabs face the same way as these and find the slot that they fit into. And just firmly press them down. You need to make sure they're all the way down. And then at this point, I would back your block back out. Okay, so that's it for step one. So, important points. Wires go in this direction. The tabs on these features are on the same side as this. And then the screws, don't tighten them all the way. Use the, the block and the rods to get everything aligned and then tighten them up. And you don't need to go crazy over tightening. Okay. So let's go on to step two.